The OnePlus 3 sports a smaller 3000 milliamp battery in comparison to the 3300 milliamp battery on the OnePlus 2. While I do not think it is up to any debate that most would prefer a physically larger battery, I guess we have to hope that OnePlus has done a lot in terms of optimization to their OS in order to give the OnePlus 3 better on-screen time and standby battery life. Taking a look at the Geekbench 3 battery test, we can see that they are near identical to the iPhone 6s Plus. Now to be fair, it can be up for debate since the OnePlus 3 had 100% down to 1% and the iPhone ran from 99% down to 0% for their results. I guess I didn't let it go all the way up to 100 but it was on 99 for at least 10 minutes so I just figured it would be okay. The iPhone 6s Plus score is 2918 in comparison to the OnePlus 3 at 2985. Now the total on-screen battery time, and this was with the dim setting turned on of the OnePlus 3, is 4 hours and 58 minutes and 4 hours and 51 minutes on the iPhone. So I'm going to say that they are essentially the same amount of battery life even though the iPhone is still optimized better since it's a 2700 milliamp battery compared to a 3000. But it shows us that OnePlus has done a lot in terms of optimization considering the OnePlus 2 was nowhere near what my iPhone battery could get. For everyday use, the OnePlus 3 works great. Thanks to the AMOLED display in dark mode, I am able to save a good amount of battery while running through different settings and different notifications. I usually end the day with 20-30%, to 30%, but with dash charging, I can get 60% of the battery in just 30 minutes of charging. Keep in mind, dash charging is only while using the supplied charging cord and 4 amp power brick. Definitely an improvement over the OnePlus 2 though. But next time OnePlus, please don't sacrifice physical battery space for another millimeter or two of a thinner phone. The world begs you to be different and stay different than other phone manufacturers.